I'm Aaron Tielitz, 23 years old, from a small town, Birchwood, Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin. I'm living in Minneapolis, Minnesota right now, though. Back home is, uh, is Birchwood, Wisconsin. I grew up on a small fishing resort, uh, the Fred Thomas Resort on Lake Chetek. Grew up with an older brother, Ted, and uh, yeah, grew up on a family fishing resort. It was really fun, but also lots of work. I think people don't usually uh, understand what goes into a resort. You know, they just think, oh, you live at a resort, that's gotta be fun all the time. Uh, when I was eight years old, I had a job uh, flaying fish for the resort guests. So uh, resort guests would go out, catch fish, and if they wanted me to uh, clean them for them, I would flay them right up and uh, charge them per fish. Ted started uh, you know, flaying fish when he was, I think, 10 years old, around there, and my mom, uh, grew up on the same resort, so she flayed fish when she was younger uh, with her sister. Two families lived on the resort, so my family with my mom and dad and, and Ted, and then my aunt and uncle and cousins lived literally across the resort on the other side of it, because uh, my, my mom and then my aunt and uncle ran the resort, and so I grew up with my cousins literally across the yard from me, so it was always a family affair growing up. We were always, you know, fighting or getting along or causing mischief together. You know, it was easy access to the outdoors when you go out your back door and you go swimming or you go out on the boat, you know, when you had free time or you go biking or, or whatever, so that was really easy. Um, you know, I don't know what it's like growing up in a city or even a suburb. I grew up in a town with, whose population was 518 at the time, so I don't even know what it would have been like to grow up, you know, somewhere in a city or that sort of a setting. Well, I was fortunate enough growing up that I got to travel quite a bit. Even when I was younger, our family would take vacations, mostly in the winter, um, because the resort obviously has to run during the summer, so we never went on any summer vacations or anything like that. So it was always winter vacations. And it felt like we were always going somewhere cold, like the mountains to go snowmobiling, or Colorado to go snowboarding and skiing. So we did a lot of family vacations in the winter, and I got to uh, travel abroad to um, to Denmark and to England when I was in high school. I was in a, a British literature class that went to England, which was a seriously awesome experience for such a small school that I went to. My dad's the one with the racing blood, uh, although my mom will tell you that I got most of my good driving skills from her, so there's that. Uh, but yeah, my dad built uh, snowmobile racing engines. He worked on stock cars when he was growing up with his friends. He's just a big motorhead. He runs a marina, so loves to work on motors. I have an awesome girlfriend. She is absolutely the best. I met her when I was a sophomore in college, and so we've been dating for three years now. And uh, we've been going strong, going well. She gives me tons of support in racing. She tries to come to all of the races, whatever, whatever ones she can make it to. Um, and so she obviously loves it and hates it, hates it because I'm gone a lot, but loves it because she loves seeing you know, how happy I get about it, how much passion I have for it. I'm really just a simple small town kid, you know. I came from a, a regular family. I'm not some kid that was made to, to drive race cars or anything like that from the beginning. I grew up on a on a resort and uh, a big family guy. I'm just a I'm just a regular kid that's trying to do something big.